All right, so I'm what they would consider a mestizo. It's just a mixture of Spanish and uh, indigenous native people of America. Um, the tribe I know that I'm at least part of, although proof is a little weird, is uh, Apache and uh, Kickapoo. That was it. Definitely, I know Apache is predominantly Southwest uh, America, mostly New Mexico, uh, a little bit into Southern Colorado. Um, and Kickapoo, I think they're just in Texas. A book from my great uncle, he has a, he was a little bit more exposed, uh, but it didn't really trickle down to my grandma on my mom's side. Uh, basically being uh, strong, sufficient, uh, the, the drive to stay alive, to provide for your family is very strong for uh, Apache. Uh, most of my family hasn't actually been involved in any sort of actual cultural things for a long time. Uh, it was definitely looked down upon to speak Spanish normally. That's why I don't really speak Spanish too fluently. Uh, my grandparents never taught it to uh, my parents and therefore never taught it to us. It always seemed like there was actually a bigger bit of culture that we could have been involved in, but we never really were because uh, parents and grandparents, they just want us to basically come off as white. Um, because if we're, uh, for anything else, we'll definitely be discriminated against a little bit if we spoke Spanish openly. Um, that we'd definitely be looked down upon, treated differently in some aspects. So they just straight up never taught us Spanish. Yeah, they grew up definitely poorer than I really felt. Uh, where uh, there wasn't a whole lot going around. Uh, pretty much it's always just uh, make sure that the kids have food, because at least you have that. We don't have anything to give them more stuff, but let's see, I actually just did a, an ancestry DNA test. And they, on that, it says I'm something like 37% uh, indigenous, um, like Southwest American, uh, so pretty much Apache, anywhere around there. And it's about um, roughly 30, 35, something like that, of Spanish descent. It's one of the things I've wanted to start getting into, like more so now than before. Uh, there's like uh, uh, the sweat lodges, um, some festivals that happen periodically through the year. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about them, but uh, I want to dedicate more time to it, but work is always uh, number one. Um, one of the passages that he wrote in there was about uh, one time when he tried to give uh, his father a knife and his father dug into his pockets and found uh, like something like 13 cents in change and gave it to him. And he asked, uh, why I'm giving you a, uh, this is a gift. And uh, his father said, Apache don't give knives. Um, it's one of the most important things uh, in your life. With a, you always need at least three things, a blanket, a canteen, and a knife. And with a knife, you can get all of that. You can take down a, a deer or an antelope, and you can skin it for a blanket, and you can use the, the guts to make a canteen. Um, the knife is the most important thing. You never just give someone a knife. Um, if, it, if you were to give someone a knife, it means that you're in debt to them, that you couldn't uh, provide for yourself. Basically, I try to be very self-sufficient. I don't really want to rely on anyone else. I don't want to be indebted to anyone else. Uh, 